Okay, let's load up. Everybody, Technical Wizard here, and center stage today is my Power Macintosh 7200. I have not used this computer in a long time, and I figured I may as well do a video on it. Now, as we can see here, it is running Mac OS 8.6, and enjoyed this wallpaper when I was obsessed with Lancer Evo cards. Um, I got this computer back in 2014, and that was almost five years ago, dang. And I've almost completely filled up the hard drive and it runs really, really terrible. So today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting this thingy in it along with the old one. Now, before we do that, let's go ahead and power her off. And we shall get started. All right, so to start us off, we're gonna need some tools, and I will go ahead and grab them. Okay, now let's get to opening it up. I also grabbed some cash, which I think would help. All right, pull these two tabs, and slide her on off. Put this somewhere where it doesn't get broken. Preferably on top of the Power Macintosh 4400. Nice. Alright, so I'm gonna bring the camera up closer. Alright, I think this is about the best I could do for the time being. So this part right here is broken, so I'm gonna take her out and sit her over there. Right here we have our original 500 megabyte Apple Quantum SCSI drive. This turd is gonna come out and go in the second bay. Original floppy drive. Screw that over a little bit so I have room. And we're gonna open her on up. And this is obviously in the way, so let's go ahead and move it right here. You'll see all that in there. to be right here but there isn't a jumper on it so I'm gonna take care of that real quick okay guys so it turns out I did not actually need any jumpers so it is the morning after and I have successfully installed both hard drives take this thing off the original quantum fireball hard drive wait it's not a quantum fireball it's a Quantum Maverick, I believe. No. Pro Drive. Okay, Quantum Pro Drive. Whatever the heck you want to call it. Alright, that should be everything. Turn the monitor on. Okay, let's load up. Oh, wait. It would help. If I plugged in the power. There we go. Now let's see. Okay. Let's go ahead and load up. Okay, we got the hard drive just spinning up. And it seems to be booting from the quantum for some reason, even though I put the, I don't know what you want to call it, the Seagate on top. Okay, I don't see the other hard drive anywhere. Let's go ahead and shut this thing down because something is obviously wrong with the hard drive. I'm 
just gonna try booting it up again. Okay. Okay, so far I do not hear any click, clicking noises out of the drive. It's just idling right now. So that's a good sign. Alright, so we are at the desktop now and the hard drive hasn't clicked. And it's right there as you can see. So let me go ahead and rename the drive. Come on. Rename it. Maybe. Go away. Come on. Just change it. It's named it S. Alright, I'm just going to name it Startup. See it here. Go down to Startup Disk. And we are going to start up from Startup. Let's go ahead and restart it. Okay. And we are loading up from the Seagate now. And this drive does have 8.6 on it, but there's really nothing on the drive, so that'll probably make it faster. <coughs> and zoom in on the display. Alright, so it appears that we have successfully loaded into the operating system. Oh, zoom out a little bit, see if that'll... There we go. Um, yeah, we've booted into the operating system, so I'm going to go ahead and check the profiler. See if anything's changed. Yeah, this was a very long and exhausting thing to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, any requests that you have, or if you enjoyed the video, then please say. And subscribe for more, and I'm going to be figure out something else to film for you guys. See you guys later. Yeah.